Um, and so after, you know, about 15 days aboard the International Space Station, the first all-private astronaut crew is wrapping their mission that began just over 16 days ago now. It's been a mission full of scientific and outreach objectives with the overall goal of expanding space access to a wider global audience. The historic mission began on April 8th with the launch of our AX-1 crew in the Crew Dragon Endeavour from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Pad 39A. Endeavour then made its approach to the ISS, culminating in a successful dock to the Zenith port. The crew, those are some really great shots of the Crew Dragon um, on Launch Pad 39A. It was a beautiful day um, and a gorgeous view there of the Dragon uh, approaching the ISS. Um, the crew, after they docked, was then welcomed by the Expedition 67 crew in the official welcome ceremony. And from there, they jumped right into their busy schedule, then maximized every bit of their time for scientific and outreach objectives. Some of it involved getting used to this entirely new environment. The crew had, you know, over 700 hours of training to prepare for their life on orbit, but when it becomes a reality, it certainly takes some time getting used to it. You know, for example, the fluids behave in a much different way. You have to figure out how to move your body around in a zero-gravity environment. Um, so, you know, there is a period of time to get used to it. The crew's time on station also included observations conducted from the cupola, which has a beautiful view of the Earth. There you can see a gorgeous view of the horizon and some gorgeous views of the auroras right above it. Uh, the crew was also able to film some of their day-to-day -day aspects of on-orbit life. You can see a food storage bag uh, there with all different kinds of meals available for them to eat. I like the peanut butter can right there. Uh, these day-to-day -day aspects are exactly part of what they were able to show in the numerous outreach events that they held on orbit. Larry, Aton, and Mark held several outreach events with students from many different schools and museums. MLA called an international committee conference to order, and Aton spoke with the Israeli president while on orbit, highlighting Israel's return to spaceflight after Elon Ramon, the first Israeli astronaut to fly, and marking Aton as the first Israeli astronaut to be on the ISS. These kinds of events are critical to raising awareness and excitement for the future of spaceflight in future generations. Also, it's just, you know, really cool to be able to talk to an astronaut real time while they're 250 miles above you in space. Now, additionally, one of the primary objectives of this mission was research and technology demonstrations. For example, the first ever successful demonstration of two-way holoportation shown by Mark there which will enhance telemedicine efforts and help facilitate deep space missions. Additionally, optical lens experiments conducted by Aton uh, that you see on the screen there, the precision and manufacturing that they can achieve in zero gravity significantly bolsters deep space astronomy research efforts. Aton also led a neural wellness technology demonstration to monitor brain activity. And they also had the Astro skin vest demonstrations worn by Mark, which will directly inform new detection techniques for problems with heart, lung, and circulation systems. The mission wasn't only about science and outreach, though. The arts played a big role as well. MLA and prodigy pianist Blackbach made music in space history when they performed a keyboard and piano duet of an original composition. Aton also displays here a beautiful ring specifically designed for microgravity. And those were just some of the highlights of the trip, and there was so much more accomplished than what was able to be shown in that video. We'd probably be here for the next 15 days if we went through in detail. Um, but for those of you who are interested, uh, please check out the URL axiomspace.com slash AX1 dash research for uh, an inside look into exactly what they were able to accomplish while on orbit.